Guys, we're tackling my least favourite mission ever. All of Always get stuck so hard on this mission. Got someone watching already, what's up dude? Yo. <clears throat> Give me a second. Nothing much, you. Uh, same kind. I'm just not looking forward to having to tackle this mission, but I'm gonna have to do it. this game before then you'll probably sympathize with me for not liking this mission Hold it. Yeah. <laughs> lol I used to play that on the Xbox I know <sighs> Yep, so the mission that I'm on about is, of course, proper defences. Let me just, uh, yep, fast travel, fast travel there. <coughs> had one attempt at trying to beat this oh, off one, stream. Yeah, like yeah, so don't be surprised if you see me dying a lot. Join party. Uh nah Fuzz, sorry bro, I'm not joining parties when I stream this. So sorry. Okay. Free and out the reach of kings, clergy, and debt collectors. Near 500 men now pledge their allegiance to the brethren of the coast in Nassau. Not a bad number. True. Yet we lack sturdy defenses. If the king were to attack the town, he'd trample us. Then let us find the observatory. If it does what these Templars claim, we'll be unbeatable. Not that twaddle again, can we? It's a story for schoolboys. I mean, proper defenses. Steal a galleon, shift all the guns to one side. Would make a nice ornament for one of our harbors. It will not be easy to steal a full Spanish galleon. Have you one in mind? I do, sir. Then I'll show you. She's a fussock, she is. Fat and slow. <laughs> Your jackdaw handles nice. Pinched her from the Spanish, was it? Aye. In the midst of a hurricane. Just before the treasure fleet was smashed against the shore. Was the hall aboard as rich as men are saying? A thousand times that. I reckon a million pounds worth of reals was sunk that day. Gavel, lover, 
Hurricane. Might have a dive there one day. See what we can rummage up. Diving them wrecks would be a nice change of pace for us. No need for violent actions against merchants and such. Well, that's some soft talk coming from a pirate. And as it happens, I mostly agree. We'll save the clash and the cutlasses for the military. And them that get in our way. She goes. No telling what you may find out here. Like staring through a waterfall. You don't saw your breeches, lads. I got this. Storm captain, looks bad. That ship's a monster. Look at the size of her. Aye. And we'd not last long face to face with her. Hear that, Kenway? Keep your distance. We'll strike when fortune favors us. Under cover of darkness, most likely. Aye, oh, it may come to that. I think I beat it second attempt.
Rouse the royals, tops! Crown the mizzen tops! Crowd on every inch of sail! Tops of gallant! Clues up! Eat her snakes! to the wind. Loose topsails, gallants and royals. I think we've lost them, sir. Ciao. I haven't watched your streams in a while. An old friend of yours. Not a man I call a friend. But we've been doing this kind of work for so long, I can't help but respect them. Fortress Kenway! Unfold mains, let's move! sailing for that island. I know the place. A natural stronghold used by a French captain named Ducasse. Julian Ducasse, the Templar. Name's right. Didn't know he had a title. I know the man. And if he sees my ship, he'll know it from his time in Havana, meaning he may wonder at who's sailing her now. I can't risk that. And I don't want to lose that galleon. Let's think on. And maybe wait till it's dark before hopping aboard. Well done.
Weapon has the helm.
Alright, and... Sorry if this isn't the best stream by the way guys, I'm just trying to get through everything. Come on. Just hoping you guys are here. Gentlemen, as is custom among our kind, we do not plunge headlong into folly on the orders of a single madman, but act according to our own collective madness. <laughs> the object of our attention is a square-rigged galleon, and we want her for the advantage she'll bring Nassau. So I'll put it to the vote. All those in favor of storming this cove and taking this ship, Stomp and shout I! Aye. Aye. Those who oppose, whimper nay. Never was the King's Council so unified.
No te muevas. Oh, you dead.
Last time you will see land for a month. ¡Ya está bien, de ¡No corras, que es peor!
remember the gift you gave me. Well, it answers just fine. Fist of Putain has bored as a musket ball and still half as sharp. I'm sorry about this, mate. But I can't risk you telling your Templar friends about me still kicking around. I pity you, Bukenye. After all you have seen, after all we showed you of our order, still you embrace the life of an ignorant and aimless rogue. Ah. What's this? His petty larceny, the extent of your ambition. Have you no mind to comprehend the scope of ours? All the empires on Earth abolished, a free and open world without parasites like you. Que l'enfer que tu trouveras soit le fruit de ton insouciance. The cove is ours! I just saw you were logging out, so I thought I'd stop by and give you something. A little welcome gift. We give awards to our top-notch employees for doing quality work. And they're nice to have, since there's no official bonus scheme here. I already have about 11 or so. Oh. Bonjour. Of course. I'll pass it on. Well, looks like Olivier wants to meet with you. It's exciting. Follow me. It's on the top floor, so it's not hard to find. But the rest of this building can be confusing to first-timers, so we had the tools team whip up a great map application. Check your communicator. I added a waypoint to Olivier's office. Should be easy to find. Olivier's a nice guy. He won't bite. Go right in. He's waiting for you. Well, well, unless you are specifically ordering me to abandon it, I won't uh, jeopardize our flagship project. Edward Kenway is the... But this is... But this is how Hollywood got its start, right? With pirate movies. Douglas Fairbanks, Errol Flynn, and now we have access to the real deal. <sighs> wait, wait. Exactly. We'll talk about all that together at the shareholders' event. Right. Looking forward to seeing you too. Take care, Letizia. Salut! Hi! Thanks for coming in. I know you're busy. So, I reviewed some of your data. Pretty raw stuff. 
Obviously, we need to scrub off some of the dirt to make it family friendly. Maybe give Edward a voice like uh, James Bond or something. More of a ladies' man. A beautiful city, no? So the main reason I asked to hear concerns is something called the Observatory. It's uh, been mentioned a few times in the footage you found. I'd like to encourage you to focus on locating this specific set of memories as soon as possible. If it were up to me, on s'en I wouldn't bother. But some bigwigs at Abstergo Industries have been hounding me for days. So, follow whatever leads you find and hopefully we can... Oh, incoming call. I have to take this. We'll keep in touch. Bonne journée. Alan, bonjour. Oui, 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 tout va bien. Naturellement. Hi, John from IT again. You got a second? Good. I'm adding a waypoint to your map. So, uh, a colleague of yours left for vacation this morning and forgot to send a video file she promised me. Since I hate just about everyone else on your floor, I was hoping you could help me. Could you transfer the file from her computer and deliver it to the courier when she comes? It'll be easy. You just wander over to their animus, log in, and transfer the file. Easy. And please be snappy before I find a reason to hate you, too. Yeah, I've been pushing. A locked door? <laughs> Not a problem. That's the advantage of me having level one security clearance. Now, you do, too. Don't abuse it. Log on, and I'll walk you through this. December 23rd, 2012. Sample Recovery Unit Team Lead Fisher Case reporting on Subject 17, Desmond Miles. December 23rd, 2012. Sample Recovery Unit Team Lead Fisher Case reporting on Subject 17, Desmond Miles. The subject was deceased and unattended. Time of death was placed around 0 hundred hours and 7 minutes, with conditions favorable for DNA sample recovery. We had some initial concerns about interference in the vault, but given the skill and talent of this team, we were able to capture useful data. I personally retrieved the subject's backpack and extracted a number of objects of interest to undergo detailed analysis. The subject displayed burns to the right hand, severe enough to fuse the bones, indicating some kind of spontaneous, intense burn trauma. Honestly, we've never seen anything like it before. Head, neck, and torso remained in good condition. I hand-selected recovery agents to retrieve fluid samples, blood and saliva. We then commenced material... You're better at this than I'd hoped. Now zip on down to the lobby. Come on. See, that file you acquired? I wouldn't recommend watching it. I mean, you could, but it's unpleasant. So once you hand it off, just pretend that never happened, okay? Otherwise, you'll just go to bed feeling sad. Anyway, the courier should be waiting downstairs. She's been here a while. I suppose it goes without saying, just because you now know how to hack all your colleagues' computers, it doesn't mean you should. I mean, not every day, right? <laughs> no, seriously, though, that's illegal. I'm not sure I can keep this up, you know? This job is well below my skill level. Yeah, well, your coffee is shit. You could use some practice. Oh, look who's here. So you didn't forget, after all, you're just incredibly rude. And made poor Rebecca here wait for nearly 30 minutes. You lie me. Be nice. 
Sorry about him. He's high on his own supply. So, how should we do this? Data transfer? Great. That should do it. We'll email you the receipt. Till next time. Take care, Sean. Bye-bye, yes, bye. And don't expect any more free coffee. Arrogant. She's great, isn't she? Hey, I just got word the courier has come and gone. Wonderful, you're a miracle. But Korea. That's an exaggeration. Oh, Korea, right? Doing a job, but thanks for helping out. Anyway, thanks. Have fun hiring it. Sorry, guys, I'm quite tired. Assistance au niveau 2, projet échantillon 17. Support to the second floor, sample 17 project. And bang, let's get back into this shit. you go in the market no I my parents have asked me to come live with them and I'd like to oh, what do you mean live with them you live here with me I'm sorry Edward but my father is right you had a decent wage when you worked the farm why can you not be satisfied with that with me decent wage that job was near as damn it to robbery you want to be married to a peasant the whole of your life all right Edward All right. You leave now, Caroline. You'll never know what's coming to us. Caroline! Caroline! Oh. Kid. Wake up, can we? that about he left this morning with the galleon as faith will discover a good use for this old cove ourselves i will make something of it in time we could keep a fleet here if we like with a bit of fixing up it'd be a decent place to call home might even convince my wife to come one day you're married are you in god's eyes i am she left me some time ago. Even so, keep that fact hid away. Most of these pirates don't respect a man with higher commitments than rum and plunder. Upon mine honor, let me know if you find anything. Oh, that seemed about right. Bitch runs fast. Edward, over here. I found something. You must see this. Come on, man. Oh, shut up, you little gay. Odd-looking things, aren't they? Old and weathered. Is this what they call Mayan? Or is it Aztec? Are you good with riddles, Edward? Puzzles and ponderings and the like. No worse than the next man, why? I think you've a natural gift for it. The way you think and work. The way you understand the world. Well, I don't know about that. You're talking in riddles now and I don't understand a word. Clamber on top of this thing here, will you? Help me solve something. Concentrate and focus all your senses. Look past shadow and sound. Ah, oh, right. I know this feeling. I have since I was a lad. It's like using every sense at once, isn't it? To see sounds, 
here shapes. Quite a combination. Every man and woman on this earth has in them a kind of intuition. I've had this sense most... You are a gifted man, Edward. Has a strange look. Is it worth something? Nothing you can spend. But if you find all of them, it'll lead to something grand. How many? A few dozen, I think. This way. I have something else to show you. Right, well that's two. Something else just here. I think you'll take to this secret much faster. Now this has the makings of a mystery. It's good, isn't it? Only wait till you see what lies at the end. Here we are. What do you think? I think Monsieur de Casse was a man of many secrets. Aye, and look here. A solid staircase leading God knows where. Those lies at the top. I think something just fucked up with my mic. From what I knew of Decas, I wouldn't be surprised to find eclectic instruments of torture and villainy. An Iron Maiden or a collection of thumbscrews. Or a pair of anguish. <laughs> Not a nice way to kick off. But that is some damn fine gear. Try the key you took from Ducasse. One. Only four left. Aye. It might be that these four Templars have them. See the names here? They've been sent to kill these four targets. Hang me, that's the map I sold to Governor Torres in Havana. He said it marked the location of assassin encampments. You think maybe you owe them a bit of warning then? If you have any kind of heart beating in that chest. Suppose I could. If it leads me to the four other keys. Bad excuse is better than none at all. Well. Get on my ship then. See that actually makes it quicker. As long as I don't do that again. Leaving already. I think this cove suits you best, Edward. Better than that costume does. Oh, come on now. We're pirates, kid. We take as we please and become who we like. Self-made man. But that look ain't you. It's not who you are. 
Who am I then? Hard to tell some days. All I know is you like dangerous prizes. Like the observatory. I think you know more about that than you let on in NASA. You noticed that, did you? Meet me at 20 degrees, three minutes latitude just off the coast of Yucatan. I'll have something to show you there in a few weeks' time. Oh, that's always nice. It wants leave to see. Alright guys, as soon as this starts, I'm gonna pause, go to the toilet, we'll finish this mission, then I'll head off. Back, guys.
Alright guys, we're back. Just give me a second to get some stuff. Sorry about this guys, I'm Playing a game of Bloons TD Battles right now, so that's why I in on this. So sorry, guys.
Alright guys, sorry for that big break I took. Might come in useful and decide to build up a fleet of our own. Exactly my thinking, Captain. Have a look for yourself and tell me what you think. Alright, Captain's cabin. Kenway's fleet. That's going to get a bit confusing. What's our course today, Captain? It's a fine day for any kind of mischief. What's your feeling? I'll make no secret of wanting to see the British brought to heel. If we can take their gold and put it to use ourselves, I'd be a happy man. Spoken like a true Welshman, Ade. <laughs> and what's your aim? Master Kidd hinted at a prize he was eager to show me down in Toulouse. Quite some distance, mind, on the Yakutan Peninsula. You trust him to play it fair? I can't be sure. He has a way of picking away at my conscience that gives me pause. I should go see him soon. So long as we take some prizes along the way, I'm sure the crew will understand. I'll set a course for Toulouse. Is it? Oh my god. Well, surely, right? You would fast travel to here. And then just go in. So Yep, it's a good thing that they let you fast travel in this game. I think without fast travel, it would just be too boring. What's your feeling? I'll make no secret of wanting to see the British brought to you. We can take their gold and. Ourselves, I'd be a happy man. Spoken like a true Welshman, Ade. <laughs> And what's your aim? Master Kidd hinted at a prize he was eager to show me down in Tulum. Quite some distance, mind, on the Yakutan Peninsula. Do you trust him to play it fair? I can't be sure. He has a way of picking away at my conscience that gives me pause. I should go see him soon. So long as we take some prizes along the way, I'm sure the crew will understand. I'll set a course for Tulum. Down to 
Stormy weather. Start the mission. Look at James Kidd. Well, shouldn't be too hard. Your ship passed this way, close upon the shore, then gone. Artabai warned us to be vigilant. The Templars have been closing in for well on a year now. Indeed, but Templars make noise with their comings and goings. I've not heard a thing. Hey, I just subscribed to your channel. I am almost at 850 subs. If you sub, it would be great. I am also doing a giveaway. All you need to do. Well, um, I'm not bothered, bro. just get a block so that's what happens when you try and shout yourself out on my streams
interest, probably that bush over there. Run around the back of here. Templars men know our whereabouts now. Wall boat. Isn't that right? The Englishman. Ah. Uh, he played us from the start. Betrayed our confidence. How could we have known? Even our Tabai was taken in by his charm. I saw a ship pass this way, close upon the shore, <coughs> then gone. Our Tabai warned us to be vigilant. Templars have been closing in for well on a year. Indeed. The Templars make noise of their coming. Going. I've not heard a thing just yet. You will. Fuck! Oh, Better not. S I swear to God, if this puts me from the start of the mission, I'm gonna be so pissed. Oh. Come on. Why is he looking? 
walking this way. On. Fucking you need to turn around. Come back here, yes. Fucking running. Fucking yow. Jesus, Kate! You led me into a mess. Is it these monks guarding the treasure you promised me? I told you I had a secret to share, but I didn't say it'd be easy. Now let's get this door open and I'll show you what's inside. Alright, come on. We're on to something. I can feel it. Captain Kenway? What is the assassin, Duncan Walpole? Dead and buried. After he tried to kill me. We are not sorry to see him gone. But it was you who carried out his final betrayal. Why? Money was my only aim. Should I find comfort in that? You murdered our brothers and sisters in Havana. He has the sense 
Mentor. James tells me you treated with the Templars there. Did you see the man they called the Sage? Aye. Would you recognize his face if you saw it again? I reckon so. I must be certain. Not a word. Come on. Uh, that was fun. You walked me blind and backwards into this mess, kid. Who the hell was that jester back there? Atabai, an assassin, and my mentor. So you're all part of some daffy religion? We're assassins and we follow a creed, I. But it does not command us to act or submit, only to be wise. Oh, do tell. I'd love to hear it. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. <laughs> that was fun. Let's do this and get it over you with then. You blind and backwards into this mess, kid. Who the hell was that jester back there? Atabai. An assassin. And my mentor. So you're all part of some daffy religion? We're assassins and we follow a creed, I. But it does not command us to act or submit. Only to be wise. Oh, do tell. I'd love to hear it. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. This is the world's only certainty. Everything is permitted. I like the sound of that. Thinking what I like and acting how I please. Parrot the duck! The way forward's blocked. That's a door, I reckon. Aye. Like a capstan. Mm -hmm. Those blocks up there. Try moving then. Damn it. Easy, Kenway. It ain't like climbing ratlins. <laughs> Until you came along and mucked things up, it was us chasing them. We had them running scared. They have the upper hand now. drawing breath enough to curse you with kid Great treasure beyond. Treasure? Right. Whatever's waiting at the end of this path had better be worth my time. That'll depend on you. How's that? What I'm taking you to see may spin your head right round. I only hope you can take the shock of it. I can handle myself.
this it then? The grand prize your mentor asked me to see looks nothing like the man they called the Sage. I'm sorry to say. Keep your trousers tied up. There's one more riddle to solve. These statues are like the ones we've seen before. With pictures carved on them. There's pictures carved on the floor as well, but not of the same sort. There's a correspondence there. But what? There's your correspondence. Match a predator with its prey. I get what this is now. Clamber up those stones, can we? Have an idea. Lend me a hand here, will you? puzzles. Jesus, that's him, the sage. But this thing must be hundreds of years old. Older still. You're certain it's him? Aye. It's the eyes that mark him. Did the Templars say why they wanted this sage? They drew some of his blood into this small glass cube. Like this one. Aye. They meant to ask him about the observatory too, but he escaped. Huh. We're finished here. Okay. Gonna keep going until we get to go into free mode. So I'm gonna stop as soon as we get into free mode. What the hell did I just oh see back there? Jim. Quiet. The statue in the temple. Was that the man you saw in Havana? Spitting likeness, I. It seems another sage has been found. The race for the observatory begins anew. Is that why we're whispering? This is your doing, Captain Kenway. The maps you sold to the Templars have led them straight to us. And now the agents of two empires know exactly where we operate. Leave this to me, Mento. They have taken Edward's crew as well. I wonder what their lives are worth to him. Take this. You'll attract no attention and take fewer lives. Use them. them darts on this one coming now. Quick. Quiet and effective, see? Lucy, 
seen this temple here? Pass. Aye. I'm wondering if it's full of gold and jade and the like. Oh, silage. Touch by his and you tell Winico my cap and catch. That's to be, don't it? Where else would the Dagos get it? They're pulling it out to the ground, aren't they? Many thanks, but no forgiveness. It was a slaver who brought these soldiers, or the prince himself. Here's Captain. Plague and perish. This ever happens. Leave us.
may thank you later if you manage to live through this. I know where to afford him every courtesy. Well, that's a good destination. Out there. See that mangy old codger? He's a Dutch slaver called Lorenz Prince, living now like a king in Jamaica. Bastard's been a target for years. Bloody hell, we nearly had him. By God, you bravos are a cheery bunch, eh? All frowns and furrowed brows. Captain Kenway, you have remarkable skills. Thanks, mate. It comes natural. But you're churlish and arrogant, prancing around in a uniform that you have not earned. Everything is permitted. Isn't that your motto? I absolve you of your errors in Havana and elsewhere. But you are not welcome here. Sorry, mate. Wish it were otherwise. Cheery bunch of mates you've got. You deserve scorn, Edward. Prancing about like one of us, bringing shame to our cause. And what is that? Your cause? To be blunt, we kill people. Templars and their associates. Folks who'd like to control all the empires on Earth. Claiming it's in the name of peace and order. Sounds like the Cass's dying words. You see? It's about power, really. About lording over people. Robbing us of liberty. That another message from one of your friends? Hi. I'll show you. I know you ain't exactly impressed by our creed. So, would the sight of money make you more friendly to our ways? As ever. <laughs> then work these contracts around the West Indies for us, and we'll pay you. As simple as that. Now, follow on. I have one last secret to share. How long have you been one of these assassins, eh? Couple years now. I met Atabai in Spanish Town. And there was something about him I trusted. A sort of wisdom. Is all this his idea? His clan? No, sir. Assassins and Templars have been at war for thousands of years. All over the world. The natives of this new world had a philosophy like our creed for as long as they've been here. And when Europeans arrived, our group sort of... matched up. 
cultures and religions and languages keep folks divided. But there's something in the Assassin's Creed that crosses all boundaries. A fondness for life and liberty. Sounds a bit like Nassau, no? <laughs> Close, but not quite. Here we are. Take that stone you discovered from the Mayan Stella. That's one. Couple dozen more and you're in. What will this effort gain me? Respect for a start. From the men and women you put in danger here. And if that ain't enough... There's a treasure behind that door. Something many centuries old. I reckon if you made the effort... ...to find every last one of those, it'd be worth your while. So are you sailing back to NASA? When I have another contract there, right? Well, this is my home for now. See you guys next time.